What up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Henry, this is my channel Classy Sense where I do top 10 lists and first impressions, fragrance review and all that good stuff, right? So if you're new to this channel in the fragrance world, go ahead and subscribe down low for future videos and maybe future giveaways. Today I will be doing a first impression video. I haven't done one in a long time, but today, like I said, I will be doing a first impression video from the house of John Paul Gaultier and it's none other than their newest flanker, Le Mans in the Navy. I've actually just picked this up, not even an hour and a half ago, I haven't smelt it. I'm excited to smell it for the very first time right here for you. So if you're interested to see what I have to say about the opening of this fragrance, keep it right there. All right, guys, welcome back. Today is not gonna be a review. I'm not gonna be telling you the performance on this i'm not gonna be giving you the longevity and the versatility and all that good stuff because this is my first time spraying i haven't even worn it fully yet so you're gonna just get my reactions my first impression and to see if this is actually a good pickup to the nose all right so before i get into it you have john paul gautier lamar in the navy in this blue tin can and they're pretty known for their packaging every fragrance that they release comes in a tin can like this and that's pretty much it you have john paul gautier lamar up top and in the navy right in the bottom with this sexy sailor being the front of the tin can so let's go ahead and open this bad boy there you go the bottle just like all the lamar bottles comes with the the pin at the neck to release in order to spray the trigger so let's go ahead and put this down and spray this bad boy i actually like this though this red carpeting around the base of the fragrance to keep it up top it's pretty cool i know i'm weird like that all right let's go ahead and move the pin and let's see what this fragrance is all about the new 2018 release john paul gautier's Lamar in the Navy. Like the atomizer. The spray's pretty good. Ooh, I could smell it already. Mmm, sweet. It is a sweet. A lot of peppermint. I haven't even put my nose on where I sprayed and I could smell that sweet peppermint. Sweetness coming from the vanilla. Mmm, definitely. Mmm. Mm, yes, this is good. I like the opening that's hopefully it doesn't change because the opening is gorgeous that sweet vanilla opening with a fresh salty feel is gorgeous and usually when fragrances open up so good then within 30 minutes an hour it turns and it starts to dry down quickly and it becomes synthetic and and just garbage and that that shit honestly sucks and this is a fragrance that opens up so gorgeous that hopefully it doesn't really turn into something like that. But again, guys, I get a lot of peppermint. Of course, vanilla surrounding the peppermint, giving a sweet touch to it. And man, this is good. Now, to me, I feel like this is a fragrance that's not gonna be for everybody, just smelling it. There are a lot of fragrances that are released that I tend to enjoy more than other people and that i actually really love and enjoy and other people tend to like just keep that in the back and then later on come around to it and just telling you guys this is good this is really good the opening is gorgeous that sweet minty vanilla i don't know if mint is a note on here but to me this carries the same dna as the other flankers of john paul gautier lamar which gives it that mint type of feel. This opens up with a lot of peppermint and, and a little bit of vanilla, giving it a sweet peppermint type of feel like that. But, oh my God, this is gorgeous. A little bit of masculinity. I love the opening of this fragrance. Like I said, this is gonna, this is not for everybody. So do not blind buy right after this video. I'm not trying to hype it up. I spent my own money on this fragrance. I actually have another bottle on its way, but I did some decanning with some friends. So that is for that. And this is for me. This is really good. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. 
I have some errands to go do, maybe go have lunch and be out and about. I will come back and let you know how the dry down is. Now I'm not gonna give you no, no ratings on how the performance or the siage is or anything like that. Just how the dry down is and how it develops. All right guys, so keep it right there. All right guys, welcome back. So I just had lunch and went to go do some errands, hit up the post office. A lot of people know me at the post office because I'm always sending packages out. And I actually got my first compliment for this fragrance actually and she was a new person she's been there for like two days I've seen her for like two days and I was go giving her my packages my arms are moving around back and forth I've sprayed it right here and then on my wrist just to see what it has or whatnot she actually gave me a compliment that smelled really good today and um, of course if somebody tells me I smell good and I just want to jump in and start talking fragrances but I did tell her what I was wearing she didn't actually ask me what I was wearing she just said you smell really good and I started telling her what I was wearing and I kind of, yeah, I took her on a little journey. But my first compliment with two sprays of this juice, it's been a couple of hours now. And that peppermint note is still, that peppermint vibe is still noticeable. I feel like it's not disappearing either. It's not drying down. It, but definitely I get more of that ambergris and that, that vanilla feel to it. It does carry itself with a little masculinity. I like it. This is a fragrance I like. This is a fragrance that I find myself wearing on a casual setting. Nothing too formal. I, I feel like I could take this on with me to the fall in the daytime due to that sweet vanilla vibe I get in the mid. Great fragrance. I like it. I'm not going to hype it up. This is not a hype video. I don't care if people that tried it don't like it and think I'm full of crap because this is my honest opinion. I actually like this fragrance. There's a lot of fragrances that other people love that I do not like. So everybody to each of their own, to their own opinion. But if you're a huge fan of the house of John Paul Gutierrez Lamont, this is a fragrance you need to get your nose on. Don't blind buy it. Go to Macy's, Dillard's, or wherever they sell fragrances and see if you can get a sample. Try to test it out. Do not spray it on a paper. I'm I'm against that. I've never sprayed fragrances on paper. I feel like it just doesn't give you what it really is like you will get on skin. Gorgeous fragrance, guys. This is not for everyone, but it is something that I can say I like it. And I feel like I could carry this into the fall time due to that little sweetness, but in the daytime, nothing for the night, nothing for a nightcap with um, the woman. This is more of a casual, energetic type of fragrance for me. I love it. And that there you go, my first impression on John Paul Gaultier Lamont in the Navy. So that does it for today's video. Hopefully each and every one of you enjoyed this video and my take and my first impression on the new release from the house of John Paul Gaultier. That does it, I am signing off. I will see you next week with another top 10 list or fragrance review. But like always, stay classy, smell good, peace. Ooh.